Hello everyone, I'm Lord Rape here, trading and show manager for High Vision North UK. What I'm going to show you today is the launch of our brand new product line, Heat Pro. Now Heat Pro is part of our thermal product series. So what is thermal technology? Well, thermal technology is based on the camera actually detecting electromagnetic radiation within a scene, hence heat. Uh, so basically, every body of temperature above 0 degrees Kelvin, that's minus 273 degrees Celsius, emits what's called electromagnetic radiation. What this camera can do, it can detect that electromagnetic radiation and turn it into an electronic signal and therefore give us an image on a screen. So heat does play a big part in giving us the image on the screen, however it's also dependent on the object in the scene as well. So it's based off uh, in, uh, how much the object is emitting the radiation and how much it may be reflecting as well. Uh, so for example, a pane of glass is a very smooth, flat surface. Therefore, that has a very high reflection rate. So usually you can't get thermal readings off a pane of glass because again, it's reflecting the local environment uh, uh, off that actual pane of glass. So again, usually the rougher the surface or the texture of the object will give us that higher accuracy uh, on there as well. Now this camera here does have a thermal and an optical lens as well. So it's got the thermal lens to detect the electromagnetic radiation in the scene, therefore giving us the ability to trigger things such as line crossings, intrusion detections, uh, also measure bodies of temperature in the scene. So we can do things like temperature detection, uh, we can do uh, fire detection as well, as well as our behavioral characteristics, as I mentioned on our line crossings and intrusion detections. But again, it's also got the optical lens in there as well. So whilst the thermal can be used to trigger those rules and see and see various bits of things in the scene, we've also got the optical camera there so we can actually see the scene the same way the human eye would actually see it as well or like what a normal optical camera would do. This one here has a physical white light out and a speaker on there as well. So when a, an event is triggered, we can get the white light to flash on the camera and also do an audio out in the scene itself. Okay, so here it is. So let's pop up the box and see what we get inside. So inside here, we get uh, the usual uh, bag. It's got your drill template in there. It's got your pack of screws, your little quick start guide, uh, and your security screwdriver in there for installation. So quite simple in there. We also have uh, our uh, cable attachment as well to give it that waterproof uh, attachment down your Cat5 or Cat6 cable. And if we take a look at the front of the camera now, this is the front of the actual camera itself there. So as you can see, we've got the physical white light out, we've got the speaker out, we've got the optical camera, and then here we've got the thermal camera. Now the thermal camera has a different lens and sensor compared to the optical. So this is what uses a called a, a germanium lens. Uh, so it's almost like a piece of metal, and that is what's going to reflect the, the visible light wave spectrum, and therefore only allowing the infrared uh, radiation to penetrate through that lens and hit the image sensor in the back. Whereas the optical lens is, is the glass lens that we get on all of our standard cameras and it's sent from the back there to process the image to give us that visible uh, light there. So what we'll do, let's get this camera mounted and we'll see what it actually looks like and what it can actually do. Okay, so here it is currently set up on this tripod uh, at the moment. Uh, as I mentioned, it's on the integrated uh, back box this one. So you simply fit the bracket to the wall, put your back box on there, and then fit the camera uh, to that one. As I mentioned, this one has an optical and a thermal lens in there, as well as the white light out and the audio. Now, this has an array of different features. So we can configure this to do uh, behavior detection and uh, temperature exception as well. Uh, currently, that's what it's currently set up at the minute. Alternatively, we can set it to do temperature measurement, and we can do it to do dynamic fire detection as well. Currently, as I mentioned, I've got it set up in, your, in its behavior analysis mode, uh, as well as temperature measurement. So you can set up line crossings, intrusion detections, as well as uh, set temperature alarms in the scene. So when a temperature exceeds that, it also sets off the audio uh, and uh, visual alarm on there as well. Now I've got a line crossing currently set up over there at the moment. So I'm just gonna walk into there, trigger that line crossing, and we'll see what happens. So there we go, we've got the flashing white light on there and we've got the uh, uh, telling us it was a restricted area from the camera itself. You can set how, how rapid you want the light to flash, you can have it to come to steady on, you can set the duration for the light and likewise with the alarm sound you can set the, the, the volume of the alarm uh, as well as how many times it repeats that phrase at the minute I've just configured it to say uh, once. So as I mentioned it's currently set up for behaviour analysis such as line crossing, intrusion section, region, entrance and region detection. Uh, however I've also got it set up for temperature exception as well. So I've just got here myself 
a cup of uh, hot water. So this has got a cup of boiling water at the minute uh, and I've got the temperature set on this one to alarm when the temperature goes above uh, 55 degrees Celsius. Again, you can tweak where you want the temperature allowed to be. I've got it set at 55 just so we can get an alarm triggered from this cup. So if I hold this cup to the scene now, So we've got the white light on there, as you saw, and also the audio warning telling us that temperature has exceeded and that we need to deal with it as soon as possible. So this could be suitable for your scenarios such as your uh, factory assembly lines. We've got a lot of mechanical machinery uh, running at the same time, uh, and therefore if something is burning hotter than the others, it indicates that machinery might be becoming faulty or it's about to, prevent a, it's about to cause a fire. Therefore, you can shut the machine down, uh, get maintenance out, take a look at it and see exactly what's going on before anything even takes place. So what we'll do now, I'm just going to reconfigure this camera and we'll see what it does with our fire detection. So I'm going to try and simulate it to detect fire. I'm going to use a standard household uh, lighter. In this case, I'm going to uh, light this one into the scene. I'm going to hold it into the scene. It is going to take uh, a, a few seconds or so just for it to actually realize because obviously it's a household lighter and it does have to get up to temperature for the actual system to see it as an actual fire. Um, but when it triggers as a fire, So as we saw there, we've got the white light out on there and the audio telling us that it detected a fire uh, in the scene. So again, you can set up fire detection as well. It also has a facility to detect uh, smoking behavior as well. So it detects the actual uh, shape of the actual uh, uh, cigarette in question, the people's person's behavior, as well as the temperature at the end indicating uh, somebody smoking. And again, it can do the audio alarm to advise the person in the scene that it's not a smoking area. Uh, and they extinguish their cigarette because again it's all well and good the camera alerts someone at a control center that someone's smoking the area you want that person to, to stop that behavior immediately because they could be near something that's highly flammable and can cause potential problems now we would never say uh, remove your smoke detectors uh, and your fire detectors out the scene that this is not to replace uh, those sort of things smoke detectors and fire alarms do save life and limb uh, however the downside of those is they only activate upon a fire actually being commenced. In this one, because we can do the, the, the temperature measurement side of things, we can get the system to alarm before the fire has actually occurred. Uh, so again, it can prompt you to uh, shut down that equipment or take a look and see what could be caught, get, get getting quite hot uh, and therefore preventing the fire from even commencing. But if it does commence, again, the camera can, as we just saw there, uh, alert us uh, that a fire is currently occurring as well. Again, a fantastic bit of kit. It's brand new to our uh, our, our product line now, it's known as the Heat Pro Series and I mentioned you've got the optical and the thermal there so again you're also getting the visual on the scene. If you do want any further information on this camera uh, please go to the link below or alternatively scan the QR code that will take you to our online data sheet we can read up on this product and the other associated products in this product range. Uh, again as always speak to your uh, local distributor they'll be able to provide the same information on the camera uh, as well as the prices. Thank you.